What's up guys? Uh, tonight I'll be working on a couple of cases that landed while I'm waiting for something that had been running pretty much for the entire day. I just picked up an emergency case that has to be done today. So I'm here supervising and while I'm doing that and waiting on some imaging parts to be done, uh, I'm going to go over and open up a couple of packages that arrived later in the day today. Two packages here uh, from UPS that were delivered closer towards the end of the day. One is coming from St. Petersburg, Florida. Another one is from, this is a PNY flash drive based on its appearance. Actually, whoa, I know who this is. Oh, that's, that's cool, because um, my friend probably is going to see um, this video. He's referred this uh, job to me, and I thank you for it. You know who you are. So, um, this is a... So this is a flash drive <clears throat> made by PNY. I don't know what happened here. It's this, it, I have to admit, this is the first time ever I see a controller sitting like a diamond like this, you know, as opposed to just being lined up uh, with the... Um, NAND and there's two NAND chips on this device I'm certain that the guys at the previous shop would not miss something like a bad connector Hmm. Just gonna check a couple of resistors real quick. Four point eight ohms is good. Oh, they check. <laughs> they checked it. You can tell. Well, I can tell for sure. You see uh, that probing in the solder. Good job, man. Good job. Yeah, that's a zero ohm right there. <clears throat> That's a zero. See, they have no markings. I don't know. I don't have a, uh, a functional board like this to cross reference with. And obviously, no such thing as schematics for flash drives like this. So it has to be something um, that be obvious that may have a reading on it or something that would just stand out like something crazy. Now 1.2, 1.0. Uh, 1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1. I don't know, connector looks good to me. Okay, I'm sure that uh, the other shop guys know 
what's up when it comes down to electronics uh, and how to fix them. I'm going to say probably much, much, much more than what I know about that stuff. But I'm going to recover the other way, um, the usual trusted way, uh, known as a chip-off recovery. So what do I mean by chip-off? Chip-off, I don't know who came up with that term. It sounds so lame. I prefer to call it off the chip because it, the data comes up off the chip. This chip off, you know, it's been kind of like a standard for, um, for this technique. Brian Little. <laughs> So I ran into some problems uh, with the chip number one and most likely it will need to be uh, re-read tomorrow because there's just nothing I can do remotely. If I attempt to run read retry, it's not going to really give me any better results. So the only other uh, variables that I have to improve the reading are power settings which can drastically change how your map appears and whether or not the blocks inside of the uh, physical image are correctable or not. Uh, in this case, uh, I mean this looks really like one of the worst options that could have been picked and I don't know why I decided that this is going to be good, but that's when it comes down to like how different even two chips can be on the same board. So um, once this is done I'll explain what I mean. As you can see, like right now, I tested pretty much all of the uh, SanDisk operations for read retry, and none of them actually gave me any proper results. None of them actually gave me a full green map, which is disappointing because that same technique um, that was used on the chip 2 gives us this. Once I saw that it gave me these results, I just copied and pasted the... the, the um, uh, results to uh, reread chip one and chip one before that actually had like maybe only 20% of bad sectors not 60 or 70% of like maybe even 80% of bad sectors here the, the way it looks so um, tomorrow I just have to adjust the settings to where they read the best so that chip one ends up looking like chip two right now and then if that happens the data will be extracted, the data will be there and uh, we'll be able to get a reading. Because the mix is good, 
and uh, it's ready to go. It just needs uh, a better um, originating files to mash together because uh, these four files here is what the data gets formed from. Um, I hope this makes sense and those of you who can follow through if you have any questions, I mean absolutely post them uh, in the comments below, I'll be happy to answer. If, if you're watching this video because your, one of your uh, devices failed and you need data extracted, this would be the type of technique that is used when uh, software completely cannot recognize your device when you're plugging it in. And that is probably going to be the only uh, technique that could help uh, get the information back. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I do daily videos. Uh, don't forget to hit like. And if you're interested, follow me at this address on Instagram. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow.